I'm here with world champion Seth Manfield. Seth, you're regarded as one of the best drafters in the world. When I was talking to some other players about this card, Rise from the Tides, they said, you know what, this format is too fast. You don't have time for this card. It is not a main deck card. You feel differently. You, you 3 0 your first draft pod with this card. What, what is your take on drafting Rise from the Tides? I absolutely love Rise from the Tides. I think it's probably the best uncommon in the set uh, if you can get the right deck for it. Um, I loved taking this card early in a draft. I was able to get it third pick in my draft, uh, my first draft, and it was I just built my entire deck around it. And there's so many spells in this format, especially in blue. Like blue is a very weird color in in this format, and there's almost as many spells as there are creatures. Like the creatures are kind of whatever, honestly, in blue. <laughs> like they're they're not anything special, and the spells aren't. You would you would think upon first inclination that the spells aren't anything special either, but you can actually put together a very nice deck if you're drafting tons and tons and tons of spells. So like my deck had 15 spells in it. You know? Wow! How many creatures did you play? Eight creatures. So like this is this is kind of a creature because this is your win condition. You just hope it's not the bottom card of your deck because <laughs> this is how you win the game. You just go through your entire deck. Literally until you find this card. So what what are, what are the type of what are the type of spells you're you're looking to put in your in your deck? Is that something like Jace's Scrutiny? Or are you thinking like Nagging Thoughts? Or is it like bounce spells? So na Nagging Thoughts I really like. I think one of the key cards is Pieces of the Puzzle because it, you look at the top five and since you have so many spells, a lot of the times it's like a draw to plus your milling cards. So you're going deeper and you're trying to find your Rise from the Tides. And I like a lot of the Madness cards that. Th those are the only cards you really have to fight for, like the Fiery Temper, Lightning Axe if you're lucky enough to get it, and then you can get like Just the Wind. So you can go like Catalog or Tormenting Voice, and then you discard your Just the Wind or your Fiery Temper, and you basically just kind of stall until you either you can draft a creature like Pyrehound and you get that huge, or you can just play a Rise from the Tides. Like I, I'm, I made 12, 12 tutus. It's like okay. I was I was losing the game and then all of a sudden, oops! All right, you're dead. Like next turn, you know. Uh, how do you uh, how do you value a card like Geist Blast in a deck like this? Geist Blast is great. It's an uncommon if you can get it and you can discard it or you can just shock something. Um, it's a nice utility spell. A lot of times you're just cataloging, you're tormenting, voicing, and so you're just drawing a ton of cards and going through your deck. And so you want some way to. Some creatures like Sanguinary Mage, you want like defensive creatures or the Silent 1-5 uh, Silent, Silent, Silent Observer, that card that card went up in a lot of people's pick orders this weekend. Yeah, you want just defensive creatures so you, you, you can sort of stall your opponent, halt um, their early attacks. Even a card like Dual Shot has been spectacular for me. I'll main deck it, it's great. Like I know people don't, people just write it off, but there's a tons of cards in this deck that are just written off. So it means that you're just free to to get them all like you're not fighting with anyone for them so world champion seth manfield says you don't need a lot of creatures you just need one spell rise from the tides <laughs>